Welcome to this episode, where we explore how to customize the settings of the Windy.com app and enhance your weather forecasting experience. We'll highlight its key features, including unit measurements, animation of wind, time format, languages, and many more. Tailoring the app to your preferences enhances your weather forecasting experience. Let's explore how to adjust key settings. Navigate to the menu and select Settings to access the Configuration tab. You can start by customizing the units to suit your preferences. For example, you can display temperature in Celsius or Fahrenheit, elevation in meters or feet, or measurements in centimeters or inches. Next, you can adjust the animation settings for wind, including its density, speed, particle size, contrast, and length. Alternatively, you can select from pre-made configurations for convenience. The Auto Close Weather Picker allows you to set how quickly the picker fades away after not being used. The Time Format option allows you to select a 12-hour or 24-hour time system. Windy.com automatically sets the app's language based on your device's language settings. Here you can switch to viewing the names of the cities in English by pressing the switch, or keep the names in the original language through this setting. Next, several features are available to help you navigate the map more easily. For instance, you can enable the latitude and longitude grid, which overlays on the map. Another feature below allows you to view more of the map upon starting the app as it chooses to hide the four-day forecast panel. You can also choose to display directions either as cardinal directions or as a numerical value of an angle. This option lets you display all times in coordinated universal time. You must close and open the app again for the effect to occur. Next, let's talk about language. Windy offers translations in 42 languages for you. Once you select your preferred language, the changes will be applied immediately. This option is intended for those who wish to delete their profile and data from the Windy Community Forum. However, this process must be carried out through the website. If you'd like to customize the default layer, opening location, or hourly forecast settings when launching the app, this feature is designed for you. You can set up notifications for a specific forecast and location, a process we'll cover in the next video. However, in the settings, you can decide whether to receive notifications via message or email. Suppose you'd like to customize the map's colors for any layer available in Windy. In that case, this option allows you to adjust the values at which colors change and use a color picker to select the desired color for each value. Thank you for watching, and see you in the following tutorial.